Good morning, and welcome to the regular meeting of Pittsburgh City Council for Tuesday, December 15th, 2020. Council will continue to meet virtually until further notice. All meetings will be live streamed on the city's channel, Pittsburgh, or the city channel's Pittsburgh YouTube channel. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Coghill. Here. Ms. Curtis. Mr. Krause. Here. Mr. Lavelle. Here. Mr. O'Connor. Mr. Strasburger. Mr. Wilson. Here. Mrs. Kell Smith. Here. Reverend Burgess. Reverend Burgess Chair. Here. Seven members present. Thank you very much. Um, as we join for our remote locations, uh, please rise or put your hand over your heart uh, for the Pledge of Allegiance, and then we will have a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our next order of business will be proclamations. Um, um, uh, Ms. Smith has three proclamations to be read in the record. If you would please read them. Council President Cal Smith presents bill number 1007. <clears throat> now therefore be it resolved that the council of the city of Pittsburgh does hereby commend Carnegie Mellon University for recognizing the alumni, students, faculty, staff and friends who have become their greatest assets and be it further resolved that the Council of the City of Pittsburgh is hereby declare Wednesday, December 16, 2020 to be Carnegie Mellon University's Alumni Awards Day in the City of Pittsburgh. Bill number 1008. Now therefore be it resolved that the Council of the City of Pittsburgh does hereby congratulate Peggy Finnegan upon her retirement and thank her for reporting the news to the City of Pittsburgh for the past 30 years. And be it further resolved that the Council of the City of Pittsburgh is hereby declared Tuesday, December 15th, 2020, to be Peggy Finnegan Day in the City of Pittsburgh. And Bill number 1009. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Council of the City of Pittsburgh does hereby thank and commend Tunch Oaken for his unselfish service to those less fortunate residents of the City of Pittsburgh and for being readily available to his local community and be it further resolved that the Council of the City of Pittsburgh does hereby declare Monday, December 21st, 2020 to be Tunch Ilkin Day in the City of Pittsburgh. I need a motion to approve. A moved. A second. second. All, those, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Closes nay. Ayes have it. The next order of business is public comment. I'd like to remind everyone that the rules of council state that comments are limited to matters of concern, official action, or deliberation, which are or may be before council. Profanity will not be permitted. We'll have the first speaker, please. The first speaker I have listed is William Parker. Hello, everyone. My name is William Parker. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, we have to move past Peduto. We have to move past Peduto. At this point, we can't uh, trust in him to deliver us the results that our city wants and needs. And that's why today I'm proud to announce that I'm running for the next mayor of Pittsburgh. Vote for Will Parker. Vote for Will Parker. You can find me on all my social sites under Vote for Will Parker. I look forward to representing this city for the next four years. As I said, we have to move past Bill Peduto. He has too many special interests and organizations and institutions that send out a clear systemic message. What happens to if it's not for all, it's not for us. Clearly it's not for all and Bill Peduto is not for us. And again, that's why I'm proud to announce I'm running for the next mayor of Pittsburgh, Will Parker. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next speaker I have is Ikahana Hal Makina. Are you with us? Ik Ikahana Hal Makina. 
Greetings, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Okay, wonderful. Good day to all members of city council. It's been a pleasure speaking with you all on a weekly basis when permitted. I would like to make our petition known that we are asking and also demanding of the city to turn over the Martin Luther King Cultural Center that is not being utilized and, in, and, and is in an abandoned state as it stands. And after looking up the property, it is slated to be owned or purported to be owned by the city of Pittsburgh. We would like to repurpose this building for the community as it was originally slated for the community for the development of cultural programs specifically for children and anyone wanting to learn more about culture. For Dr. King himself stated that we are exiles in our own land, and end quote. So it is the Iroquois Confederacy's mission and vision to revitalize our community, our sacred spaces, our land, to transform them into better places that can be used as community centers and community spaces to bring about healing of our people, to promote healing, to promote an intellectual conversation can be had in that space, to begin to deal with the, the ills of society that plague our communities, starting with our children, the youth. We can begin with them. We have the opportunity to make a positive impact in the lives of the youth. They are hurting. Some of them are motherless. Some of them are fatherless. And to leave them in that deplorable condition without addressing some of the ills and woes of their existence in this city that we are currently in would be a tragic outcome. So I am the City Council to work alongside us. We are currently working on a petition. We, go. we are working on a petition um, to seek the community's input because that is the process. That is the way of engaging the community. And we are doing that. And so as we continue to make you aware of what we need in order to serve our community. We, continue, we will continue to enlighten you. We will continue to bring forth the change that we wish to see in the world. To sit back and do nothing will be a travesty. Justice delayed is justice. Thank you very much. That brings us to Kota Kibe. Kota Kibe, are you with us today? Greetings, Kota greetings. Kibe. Greetings, Kota Kibe, Inc. of the Iroquois Confederacy Aboriginal American people. Today I'd like to mine uh, the council, the municipality of Pittsburgh, to bear in mind and to realize the full effect of an observance of human rights and to realize that our people, indigenous peoples and individuals, that we have the right to the full enjoyment of all human rights and fundamental freedoms as recognized in the Constitution, Article 1, Section 2, Clause 3, the Charter of the United Nations, the Charter of the Organization of American States, and international human rights law. To have the municipality of the city of Pittsburgh, understand that our people, indigenous peoples, have collective rights that are indispensable for our existence, well-being, and integral development as peoples. In that regard, the municipality of Pittsburgh must recognize and respect the rights of indigenous peoples to our collective actions, to our judicial, social, political, and economic systems and institutions, to our own cultures, and to profess and practice our own uh, spiritual beliefs and to use our tongues and languages into our lands, most importantly, our territories and our resources. 
the city of Pittsburgh and other municipalities and states shall promote with the full and effective participation of our people so we can effectuate the harmonious coexistence of rights and systems belonging to our different cultures. With that being said, it's very vital and important that the municipality city council uh, meet with our people on a continuing basis to make sure that our rights are not being violated and encroached upon as it has been as a result of colonization, uh, ill-conceived federal policies and laws and municipal policies and laws to make sure that we can to help you guys pass wise le legislation to make sure that our people are protected. And as it states in the constitution and excluding Indians not taxed meaning we have a government to government rate relationship upon our lands, which all municipalities and states must abide by that constitution. And with that being said, I thank you for your time and I yield. Our last speaker is Shama Ome. Peace, love and light everyone. I am Shaman Pomai Chakmam Yahavahi, the Shaman uh, Medicine Woman for the Iroquois Confederacy of Aboriginal American People. What I've seen is ultra virus, and that is police uh, municipalities acting above and beyond their legal and constitutional powers of the courts. As I was egregiously uh, forced assimilated in an act of color of law, which is against the constitution, as I was pulled over. Now, the Office of Municipal Investigations is already involved in adjudicating this, and, and hopefully they'll do the correct thing. So I move forward to remind you of your, the American Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People. And the United States remains committed to addressing the urgent issues of concerns to ind Indigenous peoples across the Americas, including combating societal discrimination against Indigenous and Aboriginal people which I suffer from at the hands of your police, reaffirming that indigenous peoples are original diverse societies within our own identities that form an integral part of the Americas. Concern that our peoples have suffered historic injustices has just been mentioned, i.e. inter alia colonization, dispossession of our lands, territories and resources. thus preventing us from exercising our particular rights to the development in accordance with our own needs and interests. We've already uh, secured um, some lands here and we're continuing to do so. So we have uh, some proposals that will be coming across your desk in relationship to some city recreational centers that have sat dormant that we need to revive and revitalize for we are creating our own permacultural spaces to grow our own food so that we may survive on our own lands after all the ill the policies and depredations that we faced as a people. We helped the colonizers, the colonists. We helped them to survive upon our lands. We taught them how to grow food upon our lands. We taught them how to sustain our resources and keep them clean and purified. And that has not continued after all of the ill-conceived policies and depredations. So right now is a great time for city council to work along with our nation and our government to government relationship that we have established clearly outlined in Article 1, Section 2, Clause 3, and excluding Indians, not tax, and many other bodies of laws and treaties, i.e. the Delaware Treaty, many other bodies of laws, international laws, universal direct de uh, United Declarations um, on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, as well as the American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. So again, we thank you for um, this time and opportunity to speak and for you to do the right thing and assist us in securing our own cultural perspectives. And I yield. Thank you very much. Seeing no other speakers, the next order of business will be presentation of papers. Um, we'll start with uh, uh, Mr. Coghill for myself, Chair of Urban Recreation. Thank you, Councilman Burgess. Thank you. I think there's no new papers. Uh, Councilman Coghill, Chair of Public Works. Yes, thank you, Councilman Burgess. Thank you. Councilman Coghill presents 
Bill number 983, resolution further amending resolution 335 of 2019, amended previously by resolution 516 of 2020, authorizing the mayor and director of the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure on behalf of the city to supplement a professional services agreement with, with a consultant, Eileen Papali, as a sole source to provide professional support services to staff of the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure at a new cost, not to exceed $36,000, an increase of $15,000. Bill number 984, resolution providing for an agreement with Zatola Construction for construction services associated with the Allegheny Circle Phase Two construction project and providing for the payment of the cost thereof, not to exceed $2,638,000. Bill number 985, Resolution further amending resolution number 772 of 2016 as amended, entitled Adopting and Approving the 2017 Capital Budget and the 2017 through 2022 Capital Improvement Program to transfer $20,000 from, from Sport Facility Improvements to Complete Streets. Councilman Thank Burke, you. I'd like to uh, yeah. make a motion to waive the road on 983. Um, I have it here as that you want to do 983 and 984. Is that correct or not? I thought it was just 983, but if... Uh... Yeah, 984 is uh, the Allegheny uh, Circle Project that... Was that related to? Yes, yes. please. Yes, All please. Right. Ms. Cogill? Motion to waive the rules of council on 984. So second. We, we have both Unvoted. 983 and 984. There's a second. second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed is nay. The both fields will appear on tomorrow's agenda. That takes us to Councilwoman Gross, Chair of Intergovernmental Affairs. Thank you, Councilman. Thank you. Councilwoman Gross presents Bill Number 958, Resolution Authorizing a Second Amendment to the Pittsburgh Development Fund Corporation Agreement dated January 24th, 1995, between the city and the URA Council District Hall. Bill number 986, resolution authorizing the mayor and director of the Department of Public Works on behalf of the city to enter into a professional services agreement and or a contract with Allegheny Clean Ways and Operation Better Block for professional services in connection with the 2020 Pick Up PJ Litter and Dumping Cleanup Initiative and providing for payment of the cost not to exceed $30,000. Bill number 987, resolution authorizing a corporation agreement with the URA in connection with the URA's application for the Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program grant of up to $1,500,000 for the former Homewood School Project, Council District 9. Bill number 989, Resolution adopting plan revision to the City of Pittsburgh's official sewer facilities plan for 700 Second Avenue. Councilman McGross, you have a, 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 um, a motion to waive the rules for bills 986 and 989? I was spacing out. Thank you, Councilman. <laughs> motion to waive rule eight. Also, you know, I might as well mention while I, before I make that motion, since you called on me, that I've introduced a bill from the URA with the cooperative agreement amendment. And I just wanted to acknowledge how helpful they were over the last week. Um, had exchanges of emails, lots of background documentation, conversations with staff and board members, and even um, Assistant Director Walker um, and I chatted last night on the phone and I have a lot more information and um, I look forward to talking about that bill. Um, as just, again, just relevant to 958, um, the URA also expressed to me that they are perfectly comfortable if we just let this take its normal timeline, which would put it on, I think, standing committee agenda in January. Um, and they said that that is not problematic for them. So I just wanted to say that. Um, and then I'll make um, a motion to waive rule eight for bill 986 and 989. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those nay. Okay, thank you very much. Those bills will appear on tomorrow's agenda. Councilman Cross, Chair of Human Resources. 
No new papers, uh, Councilman. Uh, Councilman Lavelle, Chair of Finance and Law. Thank you. Councilman Lavelle presents Bill Number 990, resolution providing for the creation of the City of Pittsburgh's Park Trust Fund and setting conditions for the deposit of revenue into and its expenditures for the City Pittsburgh Park Trust Fund. Thank you very much. Councilman O'Connor, Chair of Public Safety Services. Uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Councilman O'Connor presents Bill Number 995, resolution authorizing the issuing of a warrant in favor of humane animal rescue in an amount not to exceed $33,400 for animal care and detention services provided for the city. Bill Number 996, resolution authorizing the mayor and directing the Department of Public Safety to, to enter into a license agreement between the city and Plaza at Grandview Owners Association at a cost not to exceed $104,400. Bill number 997, resolution amending resolution 193 of 2018, which authorized the mayor and the director of the Department of Public Safety to enter into a three-year professional services agreement with Shot Spotters Inc. for the continuation and expansion of the city's gunshot detection system by extending the term for five additional years and increasing the not to exceed amount by $4,962,022. Mm. Bill number 998, resolution authorizing the mayor and directing the Department of Public Safety to enter into a commodities agreement with Fire Water Response LLC for the HEPA HEPA equipped air scrubbers. Um, Mr. Carter. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to waive the rules. I, I can't remember. If, uh, I don't have it in front of me. Is it all bills or just the, the 995, 996? That's what I thought. Just two. Okay. Uh, I'd like to second. make the motion on those two. Thank you. You're probably moving in second. All those in favor that we waive the rules on bills 995, 996. You heard the motion. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Moses nay. Thank you very much. It takes us to Councilwoman Strasberger, Chair of Innovation, Performance, and Asset Management. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Councilwoman Strasberger presents Bill Number 993, resolution authorizing the mayor and the city solicitor to enter into an agreement with Legal Edge Software for licensing and professional services relating to maintenance and support of the Department of Law's legal case management and administrative support software system at a cost not to exceed $207,200 over eight terms of five years. Bill number 994, resolution authorizing the mayor and director of the Department of Public Safety to enter on behalf of the city into a professional services agreement with ESO for upgrades to the city's firehouse software system at an overall cost not to exceed $288,546.85. Bill number 999, resolution authorizing the mayor and director of the Department of Innovation and Performance on behalf of the city to adopt an existing government contract and enter into any related agreement with Kerasoft Technology Corporation to provide Google Cloud subscription services for a four year term and a cost not to exceed $4,042,824.38. Bill number 1000. Resolution amending resolution number 729 of 2019, which authorized the city to extend a contract or an agreement with Pittsburgh Community Television for public access television services by extending the term of the agreement until March 31st, 2021. Bill number 1001, resolution authorizing the mayor and director of the Department of City Planning to enter into an agreement with Malka to provide a building benchmarking management platform software solution for a strong sum not to exceed $20,000 for one year. Thank you very much. That brings us to- Mr. Oh, Chair. Yes, Ms. Grossberger. Thank you. I'd like to make a motion to waive the rules of council for bills 993, 999, 1000, and 1001. Probably okay. Probably moved and second to all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposers nay. Thank you very much for that catch, Ms. Strasberger. 
That takes us to Councilman Wilson, Chair of Land Use and Economic Development. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Councilman Wilson presents Bill Number 991, Resolution Further Amending Resolution Number 797 of 2017, effective December, December 28th, as amended, entitled Resolution Adopting and Approving the 2018 Capital Budget and the 2018 CDBG Program and the 2018 through 2023 Capital Improvement Program to reflect all insured parties for a public service grant contract by reducing steel city boxing by $2,500 and increasing steel city boxing association and Spring Hill Civic League by $2,500. Bill number 992, resolution further amending resolution number 863, adopting and approving the 2019 capital budget and the 2019 CDBG program, the 2019 through 2024 capital improvement program to reflect all insured parties for a public service grant contract by reducing Steel City Boxing Association by $2,500 and increasing Steel City Boxing Association and Spring Hill Civic League by $2,500. That takes us to uh, uh, President Councilwoman Kel Smith. She has um, um, seven communications. If the clerk would read these communications, please. Council President Kel Smith presents Bill Number 988, communication from Kevin Paulus, Director of the Office of Management and Budget, submitting an $875 donation to the Department of Public Safety to support the Bureau of Police Mounted Unit from Pamela Littman, Bill Number 1002. Communication from Kevin Paulus, Director of the Office of Management and Budget, submitting acting pay approval on behalf of the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure for Evan Gross, per the Act and Pay Policy revised in June of 2018. Bill number 1003, communication from Kevin Paulus, Director of the Office of Management and Budget, submitting that in October, the Bureau of Police received a box of 24 individual boxes, each valued at $44, with a total value of $1,056. The boxes were sent from an organization called Adopt an Officer. The donors remain anonymous. Bill number 1004, communication from Kevin Paulus, Director of the Office of Management and Budget, submitting that in November, the Bureau of Police received a box of 24 individual boxes, each valued at $44, with a total value of $1,056. The boxes were sent from an organization called Adoptive Officer. The donors remain anonymous. Bill number 1005, Communication from Kevin Paulus, Director of the Office of Management and Budget, submitting a $500 donation to the Department of Public Safety to support the Bureau of Police Mounted Unit from Kathleen mm -hmm. Bill number 1006. Communication from Kevin Paulus, Director of the of Office of Management and Budget, submitting a $3,500 donation to the Department of Public Safety from Motorola Solutions Inc. of an a APX Next to be used by Chief Scott Schubert. Bill number 110, communication from city council notifying of its election under, under the Pennsylvania Liquor Code to extend the time frame for city council to render a decision on council bill 2020-0779 entitled resolution requesting the approval of an intra-municipal transfer of liquor license from Affolder Enterprises Inc to the applicant's cabaret LLC for the premises located at 7928 Frankstown Avenue known as cabaret LLC pursuant to amended Pennsylvania liquor code. Thank you very much. I need a motion to read, receive and file. So move very brief discussion. Need a second. 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 Councilman Burge, I'm sorry, Councilman Burgess on bill 1010. Yes, that that's an interesting approach. I didn't realize we had the authority or to do that. How how does one go about extending the time process by which council needs to decide on a liquor license application? I mean, I don't want to get in the weeds, but if you can, so we send you. We, you yeah, we if you want to, we send you what we got from the law department, kind of a, a cheat sheet on how to do it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Any other conversation? No other conversation. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed is nay.
Thank you very much. We will now move to unfinished business. Is there any unfinished business before council? Seeing none, the next order of business is reports of committee for final action, starting as always with Councilman R. Daniel Lavelle, <laughs> the Committee on Finance and Law. Mr. Chair. Thank you. Councilman Lavelle presents Bill number 976, report of the Committee on Finance and Law for December 9, 2020 with an affirmative recommendation. Bill number 938, resolution authorizing pursuant to chapter 210 of the city code, the mayor and director of the Department of Innovation and Performance to accept a donation of professional services from Value Capture LLC to provide education and coaching on leader learning in turbulent time via virtual sessions to include one-to-one -one and group sessions of pro bono work over a three month period with an estimated value of $17,500 and further authorizing the mayor and director of the Department of Innovation and Performance to enter into an agreement with Value Capture LLC mm -hmm. for the terms of such services. No, she made something that the Bill number 939, resolution further amending resolution number 840 of 2019, effective December 23rd, 2019, as amended, entitled resolution adopting and approving the 2020 capital budget and the 2020 CDBG program and the 2020 through 2025 capital improvement program so as to identify specific projects in city council district five remaining citywide programs and authorize a subsequent agreement for operation administrative expenses maintenance purchase of equipment and or rehabilitation of neighborhood facilities on behalf of the residents of the city the reading title of the bill is there any discussion on the bill <clears throat> Seeing none, the bill is now ready for final action. All in favor of the passage of the bill will vote aye when their name is called. Those opposed will vote no. Would the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Coghill. Aye. Ms. Gross. Aye. Mr. Krauss. Aye. Mr. Aye. Aye. Mr. Lavelle. Aye. Mr. O'Connor. Aye. Ms. Strasberger. Aye. Mr. Wilson. Aye. Mrs. Kelsman, Reverend Burgess Chair. Aye. Ayes eight, no zero. The bill having received the legally required number of votes is finally passed. That takes us to Councilman Corey O'Connor, Committee on Public Safety Services. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Councilman O'Connor presents bill number 977, report of the Committee on Public Safety Services for December 9, 2020 with an affirmative recommendation. Bill number 940, resolution authorizing the city's Department of Public Safety to purchase Lafayette polygraph equipment and accessories from Lafayette Instrument Companies, Inc. at a cost not to exceed $15,511. Um, you've heard the reading and title of the bill. Is there any discussion on the bill? See none, the bill is now ready for final action. All in favor of the pass, the bill will vote, vote AI when the name is called. Those opposed will vote no. Will the police clerk please call the roll? Mr. Coghill. Aye. Ms. Gross. Aye. Mr. Krauss. Aye. Mr. Lavelle. Aye. Mr. O'Connor. Aye. Ms. Strasberger. Aye. Mr. Wilson. Aye. Mrs. Kelsmith. Reverend Burgess Chair. Aye. Ayes eight, no zero. Thank you very much. That takes us to Councilman Bruce Krause, Committee on Human Resources. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Councilman Krause presents Bill number 978, Report of the Committee on Human Resources for December 9, 2020, with an affirmative recommendation. Bill number 936, Resolution Amending Resolution 45 of 2020, which authorized the city to enter into a professional services agreement and or a contract with consultants and or service providers for professional services in connection with civil service and MPEO ETC required assessment and evaluation of public safety candidates by increasing the total not to exceed amount by $30,000 to cover services at the beginning of 2021. Bill number 937. Resolution amending resolution number 257 of 2018, of 2018, 
which provided for a contract for consultant services with Industrial Organizational Solutions Inc. for services related to the firefighter recruitment process by increasing the not to exceed amount by $26,400. You heard the read and title of the bill. Is there any discussion on the bill? Seeing none, the bill is now ready for final action. All in favor of the passage of the bill will vote aye when their name is called. Those opposed will vote no. Would the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Coghill. Aye. Ms. Gross. Aye. Mr. Krause. Aye. Mr. Vival. Aye. Mr. O'Connor. Aye. Ms. Strasberger. Aye. Mr. Wilson. Aye. Mrs. Kelsmith. Reverend Burgess Chair. Aye. Ayes eight, no zero. The bill having received the legally required number of votes is finally passed. That takes us to Councilwoman Strasburger, Committee on Innovation, Performance, and Asset Management. Councilwoman Strasburger presents bill number 979, report of the Committee on Innovation, Performance, and Asset Management for December 9, 2020, with an affirmative recommendation. Bill number 941, resolution authorizing the mayor and director of the Department of Innovation and Performance to enter into an agreement with Beyond 20 and Sherwell to provide and implement an ITSM system to license, implement, manage, operate, and deliver IT services to meet the needs of the city at a sum not to exceed $542,731.80. Bill number 942. Resolution amending resolution number 31 of 2020, authorizing the Department of Innovation and Performance to enter into a contract with QSAN Technologies Inc. for the purchase of constituent relationship management software services necessary for the operation of the city's 311 response line by extending the term for three additional years and by increasing the authorized spending amount by $173,938.85. You've heard the reading and title of the bill. Is there any other discussion on the bill? Seeing none, the bill is now ready for final action. All in favor of the passage of the bill will vote aye when their name is called. Those opposed will vote no. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Coghill. Aye. Ms. Grace? Aye. Mr. Krause? Aye. Mr. Laval? Aye. Mr. O'Connor? Aye. Ms. Strasberger? Aye. Mr. Wilson? Aye. Mrs. Cal Smith? Aye. Reverend Burgess Chair. Aye. Ayes nine, no zero. The bills have received the legally required number of votes is finally passed. And that takes us to Councilwoman Deborah Gross, the Committee on Intergovernmental Affairs. Chair, thank you. Thank you. Councilwoman Gross presents bill number 980, report of the Committee on Intergovernmental Affairs for December 9, 2020 with an affirmative recommendation. Bill number 934, resolution adopting plan revision to the city of Pittsburgh's official sewer facilities plan for the flats on Forward LP, 5824 Forward Avenue. Bill number 935, resolution authorizing the approval of the 2021 Housing Opportunity Fund annual allocation plan, council districts all. Um, you've heard the reading and the title of the bill. Is there any discussion on the bill? Seeing none, the bill is now ready for final action. All in favor of the passage of the bill will vote aye when the name is called. Those opposed will vote no. The clerk, please call the roll. Mr. Coghill. Aye. Ms. Gross. Aye. Mr. Krause. Aye. Mr. Lavelle. Aye. Mr. O'Connor. Aye. Ms. Strasburger. Aye. Mr. Wilson. Aye. Mrs. Kel Smith. Aye. Reverend Burgess Chair. Aye. Ayes nine, no zero. The bill having received the required, the legally required number of votes is finally passed. Uh, that takes us into meeting announcements and then I'll do motions or resolutions afterwards. Council will meet for their standing committee meeting tomorrow, Wednesday, December 16th at 10 a.m. To register to speak at tomorrow's meeting, please please call the clerk's office at 412-255-2138 before 9 a.m. Wednesday morning or email your comments to cityclerksoffice at pittsburghpa.gov. 
As an early reminder, due to Christmas holiday next week, Council will hold both the regular and standing committees meeting on Monday, December 21st at 10 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. respectively. To register to speak at Monday's meeting, please call the clerk's office before 9 a.m. December 21st for the regular meeting and before 12.30 p.m. for the standing committee's meeting. You may also send comments via email to city clerk's office at pittsburghpa.gov. Is there anything from members of council during motions and resolutions? Reverend Burgess, I'd like to make a, 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 I'd like to place a vote for the votes I missed and I vote. So noted, thank you very much, Madam President. Thank you, thank you for chairing. Always, anyone else, any other comments, any other concerns? If no other concerns, I think we were all here today. I need a motion to approve the minutes and adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. Uh, second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. We are adjourned. Thanks, everybody.